It's Mr. Bass. Some of you guys may know that I recently moved to Arkansas. And I'm in a smaller house and a much smaller fishing area. Um, compared to some people, it's probably going to look massive. Uh, but for me, it's small. Trying to cram everything in here has been kind of nuts. So let me show you real quick. All right, here we are so far. And it is by no means organized. But you can see pretty packed with stuff. So one of the things that I thought I might do, since some of you guys just love, love, love unboxing videos, is each one of these boxes are baits that I have packed up. I got a ton of them. And uh, I think what I'm going to do is crack open each of these boxes and do an unboxing of my existing stuff. Kind of a Mr. Bass has moved unboxing video. <laughs> so some of you will probably like that. Some of you probably won't care. But uh, I'm going to do that. And what my plan is, let me just show you. My plan is swim baits. We'll just break open the swim baits box and start going through it. And see what happens. Okay, it's Mr. Bass, and hopefully the cicadas are not too bad out here today for this unboxing, sort of. My moving boxes of baits, and today I've got this one that says chatterbait on it, but it's more than that. It's spinnerbaits, jigs, swim jigs, chatterbaits, a lot of stuff in here. Okay. As you saw in the thumbnail on this video, I have a ton of jigs and spinner baits and things like that in this. So this might turn into two videos. Okay, let's start with the Advantage jig from DNL Tackle. I have a white and a green pumpkin, and these are the only two colors that I own, and I have quite a few of them here. Um, bunches and bunches of them. The way I got into these was by following Steve Kennedy. Uh, he's a BASS professional fisherman. And these are the jigs that he throws when he's fishing a swim jig. Now these are flipping jigs. You can kind of see by the shape of the head. But it's also pointed enough that it does come through grass quite well. And so what Steve does with these is he flips and pitches them and then he also swims them and he's done very well in tournaments uh, fishing this as a swim jig. Next is another jig that I got turned on to by following pro fisherman Randall Tharp sold me on this jig right here. He's won a lot of money on this particular 4x4 Randall Tharp Signature Series Jig. And this color that he throws is called Golden Craw. Hopefully you can see the color. So that's pretty much all I have. I have some halves and some five ounces. And that's the only color that I have it is the Golden Craw. Really good jig. Go online and watch Randall Tharp crush him on this thing. Okay, another jig that I think Randall Tharp throws as well. If not, there's another pro that throws this that I got turned on to. And this has become really my favorite Arky style flipping jig. It's the War Eagle Jew Jig Sue. It has a 4 aught owner hook and uh, it has it, it's it's a great bait I pretty much only have one color green pumpkin that's what it looks like it has a really nice weed guard a stout hook it's got a little wire keeper that holds your trailer on there and uh, I really 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 like the jujigsu 5 8 ounce is the only size I have. 
Croco Gator is more of a regional company. They're really big here in the Ozarks. And I have a lot of their different types of baits and lures. I really like Croco Gator. This is their reaction jig. And I kind of use this. I will flip and pitch this. This is fairly big though. It's three quarter ounce. I also will fish it like a football head jig. Even though it's not shaped like a football head, I'll show you what it looks like. See that big head? It's not an arky head. It's more of like a bullet shaped head, almost. It's kind of flattened out. And look at the prominence of the hook. It's kind of like a, that's what, the position of the hook when this thing's sitting flat on the bottom. And so this is kind of why I like to throw it at the bottom and kind of stroke it like I would, motorcycle going by, stroke it like I would a football jig. It, uh, it has a little bit of a different look and feel in the water, but Crocogator stuff is legit. Okay, another jig that uh, you see a lot in the Ozarks is uh, the Chompers Flipping Brush Jig. And especially on Lake of the Ozarks, we just have tons and tons of brush piles. And these little Chompers jigs are just fantastic. They're called the Brush Jig. And these, these things really do work great in brush piles. So if you got a, if, if you know where you're going to be flipping and pitching in a lot of, you know, thick brush piles, these are the type baits uh, to think about buying. They come in a lot of different sizes. Most of the ones that I have are five eighths and half ounce. I will take one out and show you what it looks like. Now these are compact, even though they're heavy, you know, five eighths, half ounce. Yeah, I'm sure you can get heavier ones as well, but they're very compact and that's why they get through the brush piles really, really well. This is a PB and J color, but look, look at how small the hook is. It is a small hook and it's a big, prominent, stiff, weed guard which helps it come through that brush so the chompers brush jig it's a great jig another good thing is it comes in a two pack so you get two when you buy one okay sometimes you will buy something and then just for whatever reason you can't remember why you bought it and you never use it and that's kind of what the deal is with these dandy baits uh, flipping jigs they're actually interesting looking in that they have a very, very skinny head. I guess I'll take one out here and show you because they're very, very unique. And I guarantee you I saw a technique or a video or a pro or somebody throwing these. And I thought I got to get some and then I just never tried them. I mean, look, this is a flipping jig and look how strange the head is on that thing if you use this bait you throw this bait if you if you have like special circumstances or special conditions uh, you know like lots of grass or whatever where, you, where this thing shines please put in the comments and let me know what's so special about the dandy baits flipping jig I've got several of these uh, this is called the flip and craw color this one is brown and purple, black and blue, and this one I showed you up close is called Moss. Still a cool looking jig. Hey, if you like any of these baits, check out the links below. I'm putting links in the description of all these baits, or at least as many of them as I can find links for. And uh, you can help the channel by clicking the link and going and buying through there. Appreciate it. Okay, another jig that uh, I got onto last year or the year before, I think it was a couple of years ago now, and I did a live stream with these, and you can go back and check that out. These are some of the most beautiful jigs I've ever seen as far as their skirts and their paint jobs on their heads and everything. They are just masterpieces, and they're called the Bico Jig. And this is kind of a stand-up flipping jig. It has a flat bottom, but it's a stand-up jig, and it's a flipping jig. 
and uh, they have some great colors. Green Pumpkin, Missouri Craw, they don't list the names of the colors on here so I don't know what they're called exactly anymore. Black and Blue, Black and Red, kind of a Texas Craw color. Got a bunch of these uh, because I just love the color so much. And I've also got some giant Bico jigs that are made for punching, but they have the exact same color patterns and I can actually take them out of the package and show you those up close. I'm going to show you those next. These are all pretty much 3 8 ounce. These jigs are called the Bico Bomb. Ginormous hooks. These are made for punching mats. Look at that thing. Massive. But look at the paint job on that. This is the one that I call Missouri Craw. I mean, wow. Amazing. And then uh, I'll show you a couple of the other colors. This is one of my favorite. You know, this is what I'd call a crawdad color. A lot of browns, orange, and some green pumpkin sprinkled in there. But the head, I wish you could see just the different colors. When you move the head, they're amazing. When I look in the camera here, it doesn't look like you can see what I can see. They're they are really something. Even just their green pumpkin is very, it's beautiful. It's a great looking green pumpkin. I'm going to turn an overhead light on here and see if that helps. Is that any better at all? And I think it might be. I'm sitting outside, so just turning on artificial light to me when I'm sitting outside on a sunny day doesn't... But that's the green pumpkin. Here's what to me looks like a Texas craw. It's got gold in there, browns, yellows maybe. Anyway, the Bico jigs, they're pretty cool. Okay, here's another little jig uh, a lot of you may not know about or throw. Um, this is the Rattleback jig. And this is a finesse style flipping jig that uh, has a built-in rattle. Comes in five sizes and I have all three-eighths, just three-eighths size. Black and blue, typical colors. All right, then I've got uh, some of these Beast Coast football head jigs and these are very cool jigs. Beast Coast makes some really beautiful stuff. These are tungsten heads, and they've got a silicone skirt, but they've also got like these flasher boo strands in them. And it's a compact football head jig, and then it's kind of got these little, little, uh, I don't know what you call them, little bumps on the head that I guess when you're dragging along the bottom is going to stir up a little more stuff. Anyway, that color is called Dirt Bag, and this is 7 16 of an ounce, so it's almost half an ounce, and it's pretty small. This football head jig they call the Baby Dozer. And that color, very unique, very cool color, couldn't pass up on that. They call it Elite Craw. See those little flasher boost strands in it. Last one, OG Brown. It's brown and orange, basically. Okay, I bought a handful of these jigs back a few years ago when I was going to go fish the California Delta. And I was told that these kind of heavy-duty jigs uh, work really well on the Delta. So these are called the Moner Predator Jig. They're half ounce. One's camo, one's black and blue. I'll take them out and show them to you. There's three in a package and they're very stout. You can see it has a flat head, so I need to sit right there, stand straight up. Look at that ginormous weed guard. Pretty beefy hook. This is black and blue. I really like this color. It's called camo, and to me, I just think beautiful. It's got a green pumpkin head. There it is. These are the Moner Hooks Predator Jigs.
Okay, I've been a big fan of dirty jigs forever and ever and ever, and I got quite a few of those. But I only have one Matt Heron flipping jig. This color is called the Go To. And this is a half ounce flipping jig. I'm not taking it out of the package. And then I just got tons and tons. I don't know, probably got 20 of the no jack flipping jig which the no jack flipping jig is a really cool jig it i've probably thrown this one through my life more than any other flipping jig out there uh, i got turned on to these by matt allen years ago uh, the one mistake i did make is i've bought too many of the really big ones uh, i have found that the 3 8 ounce is perfect the half ounce i use sometimes the larger than halves, like this is a three quarter, I do not use these much at all. But the thing about uh, dirty jigs, their impeccable quality, uh, the detail on their paint jobs and like their eyes and everything are top notch. Their skirt colors are great. Um, they're just everything about uh, dirty jigs I like. The other thing I like about this No Jack flipping jig is it has a banded collar on here that has a place to put rattles. So all you got to do is pop your jig rattles on and this thing's ready to go. Since this is probably, like I said, my most used jig, I'm going to show you all the colors. This is Green Pumpkin. like the red eyes. This color here I really like a lot. It's got some purple in it. I think Matt Allen might have been involved in this because it's called Super Matte Brown. Again, this, this has almost like violet colored eyes. It's got brown on the side, green pumpkin on the top of the head, purple on the bottom. It's very detailed, beautiful. This is the half ounce size and this one and the 3 8 like I said, are the ones I really love the most. So next is the HP Flipping Jig. Like I said, I got a ton of these. I'll show you a few of the colors. This one is pretty interesting. This color. It's called Black Neon Chartreuse. Now you can tell that this head is shaped very different than the No Jack Flipping Jig. This one is a great go-to color, Molting Craw. Just black and brown is really what that is. And then black and blue. Next jig is the Z-Man Cross Eyes Power Finesse Jig. I got a lot of these. I got 21 of these sitting here on the table right now. I've probably got some more in my box already. They come in a lot of different colors. They have a heavy duty 2 aught Mustad hook. They are compact though. This is like the mustard color. What do they call this one? They call it PB&J. Um, and you can see, see the skirt's definitely PB&J color. Don't know about the mustard colored head with orange eyes. But look at the skirt. But look at the weed guard. They already kind of trim it down some. And then look at that little hook. They say it's a 2 aught hook. It's about the smallest 2 aught hook around. That's a power finesse jig. And I got this for fishing creeks and streams, kayak fishing. Um, I just feel like in that really skinny water, this is a great bait to be throwing. So I got the PB&J. This one's called Pond Scum. Black and blue. Green pumpkin. There's your PB&J. On to the next one. The next jig I want to talk about is a fantastic jig that I learned about on Lake Champlain. I was fishing a tournament as a co-angler and my boater, who was an absolute maniac driving a boat. I would never get in a boat with this guy ever again, not for a million dollars. He's a horrible boat driver. But I was stuck with him that day, and he was flat wearing out the smallies with this little bad boy right here. 
This is a Kitec Tungsten Living Rubber Jig. Um, this is their football jig, and this is the Model 2 jig. And they actually have a Model 2 and a, like this, and a Model 2 version 2, like this. If you see the labels, I got no idea what the differences are. But these jigs are lights out for smallies for sure. They're a very compact football jig. And let me just show you a couple of them just so you can see. Look at that little guy. And this skirt has not been trimmed. Look at the tiny weed guard. Little bitty weed guard. Little bitty hook. But the fish flat out crush these things. So that's one of the jig colors. I can't remember what that one's called. This one here is just their green pumpkin with a black head. This one here is green pumpkin black. I like to throw blacks up there. So I got a lot of blacks in the three eighths and half ounce. Right here, I got a bunch of these just to show you bunches. And then uh, this is the green pumpkin black, also half ounce and three eighths ounce, and then more green pumpkin black, same thing. I do have a few quarters, and they're really tiny. All right, and then I also have uh, in half and three eighths ounce the brown purple, and there are some prominent strands of purple in there. I don't know how well you can see them. They also have this color called green pumpkin peepee. -pee. No idea what green pumpkin pee pee is. And here's green pumpkin, no, dark green pumpkin pee pee. Anyway, this may be one of the best finesse football jigs on the planet. No BS, they're great. And then recently, as in I just found out about them last year, maybe two years ago, Kitek has the same thing, a casting jig. It's very small. Oh my gosh, these work great, not just for smallies, but largemouth, love these things as well. Uh, that's the green pumpkin color, here's black and blue. I'm gonna take one casting jig out of the pack so you can see it, it's special. Here you can see the green pumpkin purple a lot better. Look at the shape of the head. This is an excellent flipping and pitching casting jig. You can drag it, you can hop it, you can just flip it right in there in the junk and it's magical and you can see small hook as well. Don't overlook these bad boys though. The Kitec casting jigs, the real deal. They have a yellow label and then the football jigs have a blue label. In the box I've also got some Strike King jigs, the Denny Brower Structure Bug. And you know, I, it bugs the heck out of me that Strike King, as big a company as they are, why do they not print the name of their colors on their packaging? They, they never tell you what they call the color. So what I can tell you here is this is green pumpkin with some red in it. This has green pumpkin and orange and then I got a couple of black and blue but come on strike king what the okay then here's another tried and true jig if you were only going to get one jig you might want to think about the hack attack jig again this I would guess I would call it a Missouri craw color it's got kind of almost a copper colored head and then it's got these Missouri craw strands no idea what that color is called. Some of you guys that throw these a lot may be able to tell in the comments. Black and blue. And uh, this is like a green pumpkin candy. And this is like a green pumpkin with some brown. This is probably my favorite of the ones that I have. This color scheme I think is fantastic. All right, then I have a couple of pro model jigs. These are just Arky style head jigs. And then they have the premier pro model jig, which just it's kind of the same, but the head is has some grooves in it. Okay, Bass Union is new to me, and I saw these last year 
um, as a new product at Tackle Warehouse. So I decided to buy a couple of these casting jigs just to try them out. They're both 3 8 ounce. One is matte green pumpkin black and matte black and blue. Let's see what they look like. The skirt feels like a rubber skirt, like a living rubber skirt. Black and green pumpkin. You can see the shape of the head. It's fairly unique. Well, on the bottom, it says 3 8 You probably can't see that. And it has a fairly small hook. It's similar in size to that 2 watt Pro Model Jig uh, Z-Man hook. Good looking little jig. These are kind of old school looking skirts, you know, with the living rubber. Black and blue, black head. Only got one of these, I think it's beautiful though. The OSP Jig, the Zero One Jig. No idea what the color's called, but it's pretty. 14 grams. This is JDM, so you're not gonna get you're not gonna get imperial measuring. Uh, a few years ago, and when I say a few, I'm talking a lot, a long time ago. I really wanted to get me a skipping jig, and one of the pros recommended this all-terrain skipping jig. So I have a lot of these. Most of them are three eighths ounce. That's black and blue. Green pumpkin purple, watermelon red, peanut butter and jelly. I don't know if I showed you that one already. AT Craw. These are skipping jigs. They have a unique shape to the head, which helps them skip across the water. And I'll take one out and show you. Very unique line tie on the end. You know, see how prominent that line tie is that sticks way out. It's got a very flat head, kind of wide. Supposed to go dit, 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 dit. give yourself a really nice flat wide trailer and that baby will skip right across the water okay after cliff cliff pace won the bassmaster classic he came out with this vnm jig and this is called the flatline football head it's just kind of a big beefy weird shaped football head I got a few of those here's what that flat line football head looks like from the cliff pace jig you can see it has they have really nice glossy shiny uh, paint jobs it has like these ridges along each side of the head <clears throat> and it has more of a flat bottom well it does have a little ridge there when it sits on top made to really sit up so not a bad jig okay another phenom jig out there that not a lot of people throw it tends to work much better up north smally fishing it also is a really good panfish lure but it's the venom lures ron yurko's hundred thousand dollar finesse jig and ron made these himself here's a picture of him this is like a finesse hair jig he apparently made a name and a lot of money throwing this little bad boy and then Venom Lures started making it. Really cool little jig. I'm going to take one out to show you what it looks like. Super unique. Um, it has a flat head which makes it stand up. But the, flat, the head is also kind of arrow shaped, pointed. And you can see the line tie right here. It has a wire weed guard. Don't know how well you can see that wire weed guard that bends under the hook. And then, of course, it's got the hair. And then it's got some silicone or rubber. I'm not sure which. And then it kind of has this centipede like, you know, really like a grub or a maggot type body that's on the shaft of the hook. And they actually make little bitty chunks for this jig. Here's what they look like. Look at that, little bitty chunk. You can get them in multiple colors, green pumpkin, black, orange. And this color comes, or this jig comes in a lot of different colors. That one there is called uh, green pumpkin. It's a quarter ounce. There's black and blue. 
Got a bunch of those. Here's the brown one, which is called Brown Black Brown. Really cool little jigs. Not a lot of guys throw these. Might give you an edge someday. You never know. Hey, I'm just about done with the jigs, if you can believe it. Crazy. Uh, I think I am going to turn this into a two-part video. I'm going to stop right now, and then I will do part two, which is the bladed jigs, the spinner baits, and some other miscellaneous stuff. Uh, and then we'll go from there. Now, here's another thing that's kind of shocking, if you will. I've got at least one more jig box, moving box, down there that I haven't broken open yet. I don't even know what's in it. So, if you like this kind of an unboxing video, give me a thumbs up. Share the videos would greatly help. And I'll just keep cranking these out until I have unpacked all of my fishing tackle. And that's going to take a while. All right, hopefully, hopefully this was fun, helpful, and informative. If so, please share the videos and subscribe to the channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Until next time, this is Mr. Bass. Happy jig fishing!